Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Panelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Panelungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. We post weekly content. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. You don't want to miss out on our amazing conversations. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have um, a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and is yet to subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And yeah. A big shout out to the person that suggested this today. We're going to be reacting to Ami Didat's response to why a man in Islam can have four wives. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Next question, the lady over here. Hi, um, I just wanted to ask you um, if you can just talk briefly um, about how they say that a man can have four wives. Can you just, um, because it does sound very sexist, so I just was wondering if you can talk about that. <laughs> It's a little bit off the subject. The lady would like to know how can a man have four wives. I think it's a little bit off the subject. You'll answer, okay. Well, the Sheikh will answer you, even though it is a little bit off the topic. <laughs> now, this is the pet question. You know, when the Arabs, when they go to America or to Britain, the Westerner, so you come from Saudi Arabia? I said, yes. So how many wives have you got? <laughs> how many wives have you got? So my friend, a Bakr, not a Bakr, Karim, Karim Bin Laden, a young man, he says, you see, when he goes to America, when the Americans pose this question to him, he says, he says, he says, look, I got only one wife. But this is a solution to your problem. This polygamy is a solution to your problem. You see, sir, you have a problem. You have in your country 7.8 million more women than men. If every man in America got married, there will be still 7.8 million women who will not be able to get husbands. And we know every man will never marry. Man gets cold feet for so many reasons. You know that? I meet a young man. How old are you? He says, 35. Are you married? He says, no. I said, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you need a doctor? Shall I take you to the doctor to find out? You know? <laughs> what's wrong with you? Come on. He said, there is a friend of ours. You know, he's got a daughter, good looking, well educated, good family. Come. He's right. He's right. I take him along, and when he comes to the crunch, he finds some excuse to back out. He knows the reason. He won't tell me. That may be at the back of his mind, he won't make the grade, man. You know, he has done so many abuses, he's finished. That guy, so he finds excuse for not doing that. Man, 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 man gets cold feet for so many reasons. But woman, you know, somebody to give them protection. They don't mind a husband. They don't mind a husband. Even if they're frigid, they're cold. They don't mind somebody to give them protection. I'm telling you, this is the psychology of women. But we know. Every man will not get it. If, even if every man got married, there will be 7.8 million women without husbands in America. And of the manpower they have there, there are 25 million sodomites. You call them gays. Another 25 million women can't get husbands. <laughs> then your prison population, 98% are males. Your prison population, 98% are males. I said, your problem is getting compounded. Islam offers you a solution. You laugh at us. I said, the laugh is on you. The laugh is on you. Islam says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book on earth. The only religious book on earth which has the statement, marry only one, is the Quran. There is no other book, religious book on earth which has such a statement. 
the Quran says, marry only one, if you can't do this. Thank you very much. Last two questions. The lady over here. Right. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her hair. Your Bible says that. The woman, the woman who bears her hair says, shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast, at just Scarborough and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings. Look. So. It's attracting, <laughs> look, even an old man like me, I tell you, my God. <laughs> if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know you. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zuyina lil nasi hubbu shahwati min al nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, min al nisa, women. Well, banim, then sons. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how, how the, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Well, banim, and number three, well, anatir al mukantarat min al zahabi wal fidda, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is women. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban. I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. You call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being diagnosed with the Edward. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz. I'm not in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle. I did 120,000 miles and I had to change for another beetle and another beetle and another beetle. Then they stopped making the beetle, you know the Volkswagen beetle. They started the golf, so I had to buy golf number one, golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I'm forced to read this advert in my newspaper. I see a BMW motor car and with a woman 
in the skimpy, skimpiest of bikini, what you call the tanga, you know the g-string. She, she's standing in front of the motor car and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. I am asking, I am asking, the woman of the car, the woman is buying the car, and her is underlined, test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is, the Westerner, he sells his mother, his wife, his daughter, his wife is a star, and she's been mangled on the screen, simulating rape, and they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated it's not real rape but you know it's simulated you can see everything about it she's being raped your mother your wife your daughter and you enjoy your wife is a star so sick sick no alhamdulillah praise be to god we haven't come to that sickness yet we muslims we try we try to keep away from it this is your pleasure your privilege we have no right to force you but we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. Very interesting video. I've actually reacted to the second part of this video, so I won't talk much about it or anything about it, actually. So, in responding to, I mean, did ask response why a man in Islam can have four wives, like I said, it's a personal choice. For the Muslims, they find that fine. And for, I don't know what religion the girl is from, I guess, like she said, she found it sexist. As long as you're not mistreating people, I think I'm down. But it's not for me, not for me, but if it's for you, so be it. Otherwise, it's always an interesting uh, time listening to what Amidjidat has to say about such issues i enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed it as well make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video